Well, hi, everybody in YouTube land. <laughs> you know, I promised that we would uh, start doing some outside videos and stop talking to you from the couch and look where we are. <laughs> it's been raining all day and we want to do a video. So here we are. Anyway, uh, we want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, real quick commercial. We want to thank everybody that donated to us on our little PayPal account for May. That's been awesome. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about May and her life as a province girl. Yes. And so people are under the assumption, and I was under the assumption, that May was really way too shy to do any, any videos with me. In fact, she resisted for a long time, and I never pushed her into it. But then we started hanging out with Jenny and some other girls that she's friends with that have little channels and they talk to her. And one thing that you need to understand is that the word shy doesn't necessarily equate to the word shy that we, we understand it in America. In America, if I'm shy, that would be like I'm afraid to come out of my room to meet new people. The word shy out here actually is more indicative of afraid or scared. Um, and what most Filipinas are scared or afraid of is what other people think, <laughs> especially the neighbors or their girlfriends or, you know, the neighborhood gossip. And what happened was a little phenomenon happened was as May kind of slowly slid into the channel and started sharing some time and got some encouragement with Jenny and her other friend, I forget her name. <clears throat> um, she became less and less afraid and she was really terrified of bad comments. And so far, because you guys are rock stars, all the comments that you guys have left have been totally positive. Uh, there's been a couple of guys that think I'm exploiting May, which is not the case. Um, my channel, if you've been watching it for any length of time, is simply a video diary about my life out here. And she's part of my life. And the fact that she likes to um, look sexy or look pretty is nothing that I'm encouraging her to do. That's just her being her. And this is just me being me. So um, we just try to be as real and as, and as candid as possible here. So anyway, um, baby May grew up in the province. You were very poor, is yeah, that right? Yeah, very poor. Okay. Simple life. Simple life. And you lived with who? Your mom, your dad, your sisters? My mom and father. Your mom and father, yeah. okay. And how old were you when you went to work for your, for your parents? And you were working. Do you remember how old you were, honey? Yeah, I think 15. 15 years old. Yeah, I went to the Manila for work. You did went to the Manila for work. So when you were 15 years old, did you come out of school? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And where in school were you? What grade? Do you remember? Mm, yeah, first year of high school. First year of high school. Yes. Okay. And before you went to Manila, did you work on like the farm there? Didn't you like carry? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How old were you? Um, I think 12 or 13. 12 or 13. Yeah. And right. what was your job? And the farmers uh, for like the corn. The corn. And vegetable. And vegetable. Yeah. And didn't you, I think you told me you carried sacks? Yeah. On your shoulder yep. and sometimes you feel like your shoulder is broke yeah, yeah. it hurts sometimes yeah yeah so you carried sacks of vegetables and corn corn down a hill yeah drop off the sack from the mountain and you go to the mother's house from the mountain to your mother's house you yeah. carried a sack of corn yeah on your one, shoulder yeah for one hour walking for one hour walking yeah each way yeah and then would you have to walk back up? Yeah. And do it again? Yep. How long did you do that for? Did you do that for uh, eight hours? Did you do that all day? Did you do two trips? One trip. 
one trip. Yeah. So you just one time you take the corn yeah. down, drop it, and that was it. Yeah. Okay. And then when you were 15, you went to Manila. Yeah. And you went to Manila, I think, with your aunt? Yeah, my auntie. Your auntie. Yeah. Okay. And what did you do? What kind of work did you do in Manila? Uh, caregiver. Caregiver. All, yeah, all around. All around caregiver. And was that a Chinese lady? Yeah, Chinese lady. And so it was you and your aunt, and you lived with a Chinese lady? Yeah. Okay. And you were 15 years old. And what kind of work did you do? Did you give her, did you make her food? Did you give her a bath? Did you clean the house? What did you do? All around. All around. Yeah. So all of that. And how long did you work for the Chinese lady in Manila? 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. During those 10 years, did you ever go on a date with a, with a boy? No. 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 So you work, did you have a day off? Yeah, with my auntie. With your auntie. Yeah. Okay. Once a month. Once a month? Yeah. You had one day off? Yeah, once a month. Oof. Promise. That's the way. It's not joking, guys. I believe you, baby. Yeah. That's, uh, you work for a Chinese person. <laughs> yeah, but my skin is very skin because my mother is very skin white. Uh, yeah, so. your, your skin is very beautiful, honey. <laughs> but thank you, guys. I look pretty. <laughs> Yes, you do. <laughs> you certainly balance out this picture. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so for 10 years, you work as a caregiver yeah. with your auntie. Yeah. And you have one day off a month. Well, yeah, once a month. Too. And what was your salary? Oh, my God. For first time, two five. 2,500 pesos yeah. a month. Yeah. And what did you do with that money? When you got your salary, did you go out and spend it? Uh, I helped to my uh, youngest sister. Your youngest sister. Uh, yeah. And what kind of help did you give your youngest sister, honey? For the feed the school, the high school, uh -huh. and then after high school, at with high school, and then college for graduating college, and then for the next my youngest brother, I help again. So did you keep any of the money? Oh, uh, no. No. So you worked for 10 years. Yeah. You sent all of your money to your youngest sister. Yeah, I did. And then to your brother. Yeah. And that was to help them finish their studies. Yeah. Okay. And so after the 10 years was over. I'm crying, guys. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> um... After the 10 years, did you come home from Manila? Mm, yeah. Yeah. And what did you do when you came home? Mm, I back to my my bus before, but it's not long time work. Uh, for example, extra. Uh, extra uh -huh. For six months and then back again to my mother's house. Back to your mother's house. Yeah, because mm -hmm. in my shoulders. Sometimes it's sore. Okay. Yeah. And once you came back to your mother's house, what did you do there? Uh, sometimes I work in catering. Sometimes you would work in catering with your sister. Yeah. Right? And um, when, you, when you stayed with your mother's, at your mother's house, what was your day like? Did you just stay in your room? Did you go out? Did no. You, no. I don't like go out. I always stay. Here. You always stay in your room. And then take care of my nephew. Took care of your nephew. Yeah. Okay. And when did you, when did you come to Dumaguete? How did you? Can you tell the people how you met me? Yeah, with my <laughs> best friend to Abby. <laughs> 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 so am I I'm your first foreigner boyfriend yeah okay we've been together for how long one year yeah one year one year 
one year more than one year more than one year mm -hmm. yeah and so how is your life now compared to before is it better now is it is it nicer now is it worse <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course it's better now because <laughs> Well, honey, I got to tell you, my life's a lot better with you, too. So That's good now. Guys. It's good now. Good. Yeah. Good. And your future. What do you want to do in your future? What's your, what's your dream in the future? I said, well, I would like a baby. You would like a baby? Yeah. Okay. That's my dream. That's your dream. Me. Okay. It's like, you know, married, I would like the baby. Yes. Really? So you... <laughs> That's a <Sorry>. tall order. <laughs> sorry, guys. No, don't be sorry. This is, I, you know, this is the truth in lending jam. Yeah, because I remember, you know, I remember before. Huh? It's super hard. It's super hard. What's hard? My, you know, it's my work before. It's very yeah. hard, and then it's very hard for help to my family. It's very hard. Yeah. So I'm really old, and so I don't think it's fair for me to give you a baby. So how about we, um, how about we get a beetle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm very crying, but you're still smiling. Wow, this isn't this isn't the weeping show. <laughs> this isn't but, Oprah. <laughs> But sorry guys, uh, my speak English is not good. You're not what baby, your because English you know, is just fine. Because you know I'm not I'm not good for I'm not good for speaking English. I have a lot of English. Yeah. But it's okay because I always pray to God. You know what? That's so very help. true. Yeah. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Now I've talked to you and um I've told the folks that every day I walk in and in the morning I see you praying, yeah. right? And I woke up sometimes at four o'clock in the morning and you're just up sitting on the edge of the bed and you're got the little light on and you're praying to God. You pray to God every day, huh? Yeah, every morning. Every morning? Yeah. And every night or no? Mm, I If I wake up the 2 a.m., I pray. Yeah, it's okay. And you have a little prayer book. Yeah. From the from the church. And who taught you about God? How did you find out about God? With my church. With your church. Yeah. Okay. With my relatives. With your relatives. And so, when you pray to God, do you just give thanks? Do you? Um, make requests. Uh, what do you? What's it, what's a, what's it like when you pray? Yes, it's okay. You all right? You need a break? Yes, Want me to teach you how to smoke? I need, <laughs> I need a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember for the. You know, <laughs> This is normally where we break out a cigarette. No, no, no. <laughs> Which you know this month. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me continue. <laughs> okay. Let's keep Sorry, going. guys. It's not drama. That's that's true. It's true. <laughs> this is drama. No, it's not drama. <laughs> that's reality. <laughs> no, it's not drama. <laughs> okay, honey. All right. So uh, where were we? Okay, praying to God. What's the dealio with God? I wake up to two a.m. o'clock. And then I pray to God. If I have the problem, I pray to God. And then after tomorrow, the God the answer my prayer. He always answers your prayers, doesn't he? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You were needing a phone, right? Didn't you need a phone? And you never told me, did you? But we uh, told everybody that we weren't getting monetized, blah, blah, blah. And so on another video, I said, hey, let's help maybe Bay out and get her a bikini fund. And what happened? I'm so happy because 
um, the people for coming is good. Yeah, comments and then, were good. Yeah, and then thank you so much, guys, for to share for the for beginning. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. I'm yeah. very appreciate for that. Yeah. And with my heart, I thank you so much. God bless. And so you put all your faith in God, right? Yeah. There's nothing that that will ever change. No. Yeah. So, um, in what? Let's go this way. What? Um, what is? What is your favorite thing to do around the house? I know the answer to this, but what's your favorite thing to do here? Favorite. Uh, my favorite is cooking. Cooking. And then second in cleaning. Cleaning. But in the washing, it's that's number three. But for the errand for the clothes, I don't like because my hands is bent before I always errand and uh -huh. then getting the shiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first met May, um, she she had just finished going to massage school. Yeah. You had finished. You you went with Abby, your girlfriend Abby. And you guys had graduated to become masseuses. And you went in to do your first massage, right? Yeah. With a client. And yeah. your hands were shaking really yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm stuck there. And that's because you ironed for yeah. 10 years. Yeah. And then after for iron, I washed it for more dishes for cooking. So. so basically, you were in Manila for 10 years, ironing clothes, washing, yeah. scrubbing, yeah. cleaning. Cooking. Cooking. And then take it for grandma for caregiver. Taking care of grandma, which yeah. is what you call the woman that you took care of. You call her grandma. Now, she was kind. Isn't she a kind yeah, lady? She's very kind. That's good. That's good. And so you had a place to live. Um, you had food on the table. But all of your money went to your family. Yeah. Now... A while back, you were showing off your little passbook savings book to me, remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you had some money in there, right? Not now, not now. Uh, I know, I know, but answer the question. You had money in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And one day, I'm going to share this story. I hope it's okay. One day, about, I don't know, a couple months ago, uh, when I dropped you off at your sister's, she goes to see her sister and pick up clothes and visit with her. Um, she said she had to go to the bank. And I said, okay. And a couple of three days later, and nothing was said. It was just, we were just here hanging out. And I said something to her about money. I think I was kidding around. I said, hey, I'm out of money. Let's go to your bank and get some money or something like that. And uh, she says, I don't have any money. And I said, well, why don't you have any money? And she said, well, my brother-in-law died, which I didn't know. And the sister didn't have any money to pay for the funeral, right? So she took every dime that she had been saving, and it was a substantial amount um, from the catering jobs that she's been doing with her sister. She put away every nickel that she made. She didn't splurge on nothing. And she just gave it to her sister. And... You know what? I know a thousand guys, and I know, I know a hundred guys probably that have girlfriends that if, if a family emergency comes up, the boyfriend is the automatic ATM. I mean, that's the guy that gets turned to because he gets, you know, all foreigners are millionaires. And the girls go to him and say, oh, we got to do this, we got to do that. And the guy's always dipping into his pocket for one emergency after another. And, you know, what just cemented this whole thing with me and my brain with this beautiful creature is that she had a tragedy in her family. She didn't bring it up. She didn't belabor it. She didn't ask me for any money. She just quietly went to her bank, took out her life savings, handed it over to her family, and that was that. So... Before it's all said and done, way, one way, shape, or form, uh, we're going to make sure, or I'm going to make sure that that money gets replaced. Um, I'll do it a little bit at a time as I can. And so that just, again, speaks to the character. You know, I've mentioned before that, you know, my respect for this woman 
is just through the ceiling. Uh, she has a heart of gold. Uh, she's from the province. She lived a very simple life. She remains a very simple person. Uh, she remains true to herself. She remains, in, her integrity is always intact. Um, she doesn't go with the flashy girls. She doesn't, uh, she's not interested in the women that have a lot of money. In fact, she's kind of turned off by them, don't you? you we were at dinner the other night and uh, there was a woman, we won't say any names, but she was talking about how she went here and she went there. And you'd mentioned that she forgot where she came from. She was a poor girl at one time and she married a rich foreigner, remember? And you told me, I don't really care for that lady because she's forgotten where she came from. And May will never forget where she came from. And so that's just a little bit about baby May. What else you want to say? What else you got to tell them? How about your cooking channel? You want to tell them about your cooking channel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of your channel? Mm, YouTube May, channel. May Cooking Guys. <clears throat> May's Cooking. Mm. And it's, um, it's a real simple little YouTube channel. Yeah, She's right. starting off slow. She's starting off easy. Yeah. Um, God knows it's much better content than what I've ever put out. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you guys for subscribe. I have subscribed for 50. Yeah. I'm so happy for that. Well, because so, first time yeah. one subscribe, I'm so sad. But now I pray to God, God, I wish I have the subscribe. But in now getting 50, so thank you so much. 50 subscribers. Yeah. So if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put a little link in the description of this video. Uh, for her little channel and the only thing I, I ask guys is when you when you see her Please, please, please keep the comments clean. Okay, she gets it's there's no point in offending someone like this All right, if you're a dirty dog Send me the comment and I can take it. My, my skin is very thin uh, But give her a break. Okay, because we don't want to have to block 90% of the people and it's really just her here in the kitchen uh, making me breakfast. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, I think the next time we do a video, oh, Lord, we're going to keep saying we're going to go outside. Yesterday, we were going to go to forest camp with some friends. And I was really looking forward to that because it's outside and it's got waterfalls and it's got some pools and we can sit and do this. But... It'll break it up for you guys. It'll definitely break it up for us, give us some different background. Um, and I ordered, I found through Shopee, a microphone that's a dual deal. So I can put one on her and one on me. Or if I interview somebody, um, we can hopefully, it'll come through when we're outside. You're probably hearing ambient noise right now, uh, which is traffic and stuff or the fan over there that's blowing. So. Hopefully you'll put up with that until we get organized here. Um, what else? Oh, I'm going to go see my friend Russell across the road. Uh, Russell is uh, uh, one of us. He's a guy that's that's out here just trying to retire, live his life. His child, unfortunately, passed away about five months ago. And so I'm going to do a Facebook live video advertising the place i have kind of a uh i might break this rule but i have a, a rule for my channel that this channel is to be a video diary of my life here and i don't want to commercialize it with a bunch of restaurant stuff you know like we're eating here come have a breakfast it's great blah 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 i don't want to do all that stuff i don't want to review hotels um if we go to a hotel we'll broadcast from there we might tell you if we like it or not <clears throat> but I don't want to advertise stuff. But with Russell uh, and his and his lovely wife, um, who's I think still in bed with a migraine uh, over the death of their child, I might make an exception to that rule. But I'm definitely going to go do a live Facebook deal to get some of these cheap bastards around here to go spend some money with him. <laughs> we still don't know if we're going to get monetized or not. There's no word from. Uh, YouTube or Google, so we're just waiting on that. 
The PayPal link is still on there if you guys want to contribute. We're not e-begging. We're just letting you know what's going on. And uh, that's that. So you want to tell everybody they should subscribe to my channel? Yeah. Say it in uh, the science. Say subscribe to Paul's channel in the science. Say it. In your language. Can you do it? I'm subscribe. Uh, next time. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. How about say subscribe to your channel in English? Yes, guys. Subscribe my channel. Make cookie. That's very simple. Make cookie. Okay, yes, it's very simple. simple. Uh, what else we got to tell these fine folks? Anything? <laughs> no? No. You done? Yeah. Okay. And then thank you. Thank yeah. you all. Thank yeah. All. Do thank you, guys. We do love you. And please put comments. Please put... Uh, your opinions, suggestions, all that good stuff. And, you know, go ahead and make the knucklehead comments to me if you want to. That's cool. But when you go to her channel, just be gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And uh, we hope you subscribe to her channel. And as always, if you don't want to subscribe to this channel, I don't blame you. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.